Now, this next lady I'd like to bring to the stage, it has been such a hoot having her in the class. I know you're going to enjoy her. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for Sue Burgess. Let her hear it. Sue Burgess! Now, I haven't always looked like a grandma. I actually spent 10 years in prison in Ohio. Aww. Now, I had to work my way from the bottom up. I was not an inmate. That wasn't really the bottom. The bottom was doing cavity searches. So I had to have a rubber glove, which this probably will be bronzed someday. I came out with very lucrative items. Now, I did find this, and it really was, no ice cream was on it. I was greatly disappointed. No shit. A little, a little medicinal, of course, in Ohio, a little medicinal marijuana. One ping pong ball. And of course, some Coke. I'm very fond of Coke. <laughs> and some jewels. Now, I, they offered me several positions, but with this stuff, can you imagine that I want to be a teacher in the joint? Give me a break here. But eventually, I did have to teach these inmates some math. Now, if you see any of these guys around that have gotten really smart, it's due to me. Now, I had sex with a correctional officer. <laughs> now, not inside the joint, but we at his apartment. Now, when he came and I didn't, he said, maybe next time. I mean, does this guy really think the future holds a next time for him? Well, finally I had to get out of there. I mean, enough is enough. Now, people have kissed inmates. People have written notes to inmates, and I'm sure a blowjob on one of them would get you out if it was seen. But since I had no takers, I finally had to quit. All right, life on the ins outside was also pretty interesting, too. I was going hot and heavy one night in a car with a guy, and I said, oh, Mike, Mike. Realizing my error rather quickly, I said, oh, Steve, Steve. <laughs> Great pause in the car, true story. He said, Try Jim. And I did. Some guy had the nerve to tell me that I was too fast. Well, if he hadn't beat it to the door so darn quickly, he would have found out exactly how slow I am. Well, I had sex with another guy. He wanted me to hold on to that little thing down there while he was going at it. And like he gets all done and he says, your arms are too short. <laughs> My response was, next time I'll get an orangutan for you. <laughs> hey, for years, I wanted to be swept off my feet. But at this point in life, with these droopy girls, it's the guy who better stand aside or he'll be swept off his feet. Woo! 
Big penis. Big penis. I hope you have all had the opportunity to see a big penis. It is a sight. But anyway. Anyway, I did get to see this large penis. And I'm telling you, I couldn't decide what to do first. Jump on and ride or sing. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you very much, you've been a kind audience.